everyone, it's Leila. How are you doing? Um, today I'll be doing a tutorial that incorporates braids and uh, recently I've just been loving anything and everything that has to do with braids. Um, they're, they're so hot, they're like everywhere on the streets um, and you know, the, the stars are wearing them on the red carpets in all the TV shows you see it and the best thing about it is it's so fast and it's so easy to do that pretty much anyone can do it. I saw the picture that I showed you guys in the beginning of the video of Zoe Saldana at one of the uh, red carpet events that she attended and I just fell in love with the look. So I'm going to try to attempt to do that and if you'd like to see how I do it then just keep watching. And for this look, because my hair is quite short, I'm going to be using my Luxa hair extensions. As you can tell I'm already wearing them. And one thing I'll just mention about um, the extensions when you're putting them in. Watch my video on how to clip in Luxa hair extensions and um, just skip the first part. So basically I'm not using the um, weft that has three clips on it just for the very very bottom of your head basically right at the neck. I'm not going to be using that part because when I'm going to part my hair and sort of bring the braids up I don't want the um, clips or the wefts showing so that's the only piece that's missing um, other than that I am wearing the 160 gram set and um, that's pretty much it so what I'm gonna do to start is just basically separate the hair into two parts with your fingers just kind of in the middle of the head and just bring all the hair forward and I'm gonna lightly brush through it just to make sure that there's no tangles when we're um, braiding the hair because I want it to be nice and smooth. And so I'm going to start with this side and just bring all the hair to this side and kind of gather it all in your fingers sort of thing. Okay. Now you're going to divide this and just do a regular braid. So basically divide it into three parts, three equal parts. Okay just like that and we're gonna do a pretty tight braid because we don't want any of the loose pieces coming out um, we want it to be a clean um, sort of like a clean braid so just start braiding and make sure it's nice and tight okay so once you've braided the uh, your right side you're gonna go ahead and do exactly the same thing on the other side so you're going to gather all the hair into, um, into your hands and you're going to want to just separate it into three equal parts and do a basic braid, just like before. So now that you're at this stage, what you want to do is just basically flip this braid over the top of your head. And the way you're going to do it, don't worry about this, I'm going to fix that later, you kind of want to go um, above the ear and just kind of smooth it down and bring it forward so you have something like this I'm gonna grab a bobby pin and just go into the hair open it up and just go right up like that to secure that you see that it's nice and secure and it's hidden so once you've done one side you want to just take a bobby pin and if you have any hair like that sticking out just go right in pick that hair up and just stick a bobby pin in somewhere just to um, make sure that nothing is sticking out and there you go and now you're going to do exactly the same thing with this side you're going to just pick up this braid kind of flatten it up against your head I don't know if you guys can see that I'll go back a little bit so just flatten it out against your head and just go right above um, the ear and just go over top of the uh, of this braid that was going towards this side and just sort of cover that up to cover the elastic and that's kind of what it's going to look like once it's in place so what you want to basically do is just hide this braid under this braid so just very gently slide it underneath and kind of hide that the end of that um, braid into the hair like that. And this part's a little tricky so it just takes a little bit of getting used to. You're just gonna kinda go in with your bobby pin and just secure that braid just like that. 
And then you want to do the same thing over here so this, um, this side of the braid doesn't move and uncover the elastic underneath. So just kind of flatten out that braid and just go with your bobby pin right in like that. Again, if you have these things sticking out, what I'm going to do is just use a little bit of um, mousse and this is just Aussie volumized um, styling mousse. That's the bottle. Okay, I'm just going to use a little bit and just pick it up and go over top and just sort of smooth them out just like that. So you see now it's kind of gone. And I'm gonna do the last step is just grab your hairspray and if there's any hair that's kind of sticking out what you want to do is just spray the head downwards and then just go quickly with your hands and sort of smooth everything out. Okay, just like that. And do the same thing on this side. Just kind of do that and then go with your fingers um, and you're gonna go opposite, right? Because the hair is going that way with the braid. Just do that and just kind of smooth it out with your fingers. Okay. The very last step, and you can leave this step out if you want. Um, for me, I'm gonna just curl this uh, a little bit, just the ends. I'm gonna curl um, this hair going outwards. And you can pull a few more. And I'm gonna do just a few of them. Just gonna wanna grab that. Um, take your curling iron facing down and just very lightly, just at the ends, you want to just uh, curl your hair, hold it for a few seconds and let it go. And that's what, that's what it does. I like, I like that a bit better than just kind of straight. And just do exactly the same thing over here. Just sort of curl it from midway down and with your curling iron looking down. Okay, for a few seconds, let it go. And I like that. It's more, it's more flirty, it's more playful. Okay, and then you want to just spray that. Put this down. Alright, and you want to do exactly the same thing over here. I mean, you can take out a bit more hair if you want. Like that. You can do it in two, you can do it in three, whatever you want. So just grab your curling iron. Again, looking down, and you want to just curl away from your face. Midway to the end just like that and hold it for I don't know a few seconds three to five seconds let it go and just kind of pull on the curl so it opens up because I don't want it to be too curly just sort of wavy at the ends and here I'm gonna do just um, I'm gonna separate this into two as well like that just at the end away from the face and just hold it for a few seconds like that let it go and do the same thing with the last piece with the curler looking down from the midway and just at the ends let it go and there you go and just kind of pull on them open them up because I don't want them to be you know a defined curl just a little bit of a flirty look okay just kind of pull on them and open them up so it's not as defined of a curl and more of a wave and then just spray that with just like that and voila, we're all done and I absolutely love this look. You can, the beauty of this look is that it's so versatile. You can do it day and then you can take it out to a night. Um, you know, you can do it going to school or running errands. It's perfect for summer. You know, your hair is away from your shoulders and your face and it's just in this very cute um, hairstyle. As you can tell even uh, from the, you know, pictures or sandalas, she um, wore this to a red carpet event so you can do that as well you can take it out to a night by just wearing a nice gown and some earrings and just dress it up with jewelry so that's it guys I'm all finished I really hope that you enjoyed this look and if you like it try it out if you like the video then favorite a thumbs up and uh, we love reading comments so share your thoughts down below and I will see you guys in the next video bye